when you guys actually like like what was the conversation like about like yo we're gonna make the members only album happen had that been a conversation that for a while? Well, did we ever? That was what, bass. There was no conversation, right? That was just all music that existed. It just happened. Ah, uh, okay. It just happened. We didn't even have a conversation about that. Okay. He just, I think he put it all together by himself. Exited. I think so. Did he? We don't know. See, I think. So nobody in the group knows how <coughs> their first album came out? It just came out. <laughs> it just happened? Yeah. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. He told y'all to show up to the studio. Studio, and, like, he told me to send him the songs that we recorded on tour. But how many months after he passed did the album come out? Because I always figured that the album was, like, the idea came out after he passed. Or oh, what, you talking what? about Volume 3 or Volume 4? I forget. The big one that came out, like, on Empire and shit, I forget. Was there, there multiple ones on Empire? Oh, oh, you're talking about Volume 4. Okay. Oh, I mean... We like us and X. We didn't talk about make no music before we passed away. Now I'm remembering what project you're talking about. Yeah, right. yeah. I okay, thought you yeah, was talking yeah. about. I was talking about the one after he passed. Okay, my bad. Oh, uh, when he actually after he passed, I mean, we took time and to like to think about things like that because like we were. I was signed to Empire and Empire was really close with the group, mm. and guys they just came to us and like, yo, bro, like you know, let's just do a Members Only Volume Four, a little tribute album for Jaw. Right. And like. Yeah, that's how it happened. Okay. She was fired though. Did you feel, yeah, you were satisfied with it? How did you feel I about mean, the response? I, I was satisfied with it. You feel me? It was, it, it, it could have been a lot, like, not better per se, but like, we just had to, like, it was, it was not, it wasn't rushed, but like, it was, I don't know, it could have been a lot better, but I was basically satisfied with the album because it, it, I don't know. I feel like a lot of things could be better in life, and that's just how I feel. Could you, um, is the group like close enough? Do you think there will be another project or what's your thoughts on that? Yes, there definitely will be another like MO project, but it, it would just be like, you know, it wouldn't be a volume five. No, it, it, you feel me? I'm okay. not going to speak on volume five because I don't know nothing about that, but right. you will definitely get another group tape from us. Okay. Have y'all re like recorded? Yeah, or? I feel like y'all are like yeah. kind of separate and like, no, I don't know no, how much do you have to do with each other? To be honest. A lot. Okay. Still a lot. You feel me? Like. We see each other every day. We live with each other. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What is that's that? A, it depends on, like, who you see that's an MO. Okay. Because, like, the structure and the dynamic is totally different now. Right. You feel me? But, yeah, we still, everybody still, like, get along and, like, talk every day type shit. Were you ever close with Ski Mask or was the beef kind of just... I, I was always close with him. You were always yeah, close. Yeah, because he was around us and shit. Okay. Yeah. But then how did that end up sparking off between y'all? Um It was just some like petty shit. Right. Like petty shit cuz like I don't know. It was it was just some we brothers, bro. We clash heads, you feel me? I'm not I'm not about to speak like what our business has, mm. but just know it was on some petty shit. But did you you felt like he wasn't necessarily being a part of the group or giving a fuck about y'all or, nah, or he, about he, you he, or what was the attitude? He gave a fuck. Okay, you feel me? But I didn't. In the time when we we were like you know like having troubles and shit, like I didn't really see it from like you know his standpoint. Mm. You feel me? And he didn't see it from my standpoint either. Right. So that's why we like talk like you know face to face on yeah. facetime to see what you feel what caused it what's causing the problem and the solution of the problem but what was i saying i mean schema has like kind of removed himself from yeah, that he, universe even before x died in a way like it felt like he kind of for his own sanity sort of like moved away from a lot of it and was mm -hmm. trying to like sort of do his own thing as an artist and shit yeah i mean dude like everybody goes through a lot of shit and everyone has their own demons and mm. like it's it hits people differently and like you know um he did go like distant from us and like as a solo artist but you know if that made him happy if that made him you know financially better and just as like mentally just Okay, that's all we care about. Did you ever have a conversation with him after this shit went down on Instagram Live, like squashing it or squashing what with ski masks? Like, did y'all ever smooth it out at all? Or what you mean? Just the the you guys were talking shit about each other oh, on yeah. live and shit, oh, or yeah. you were. I don't hey, know. Nah, if that, really that's was. when that's when like we like called each other in Facetime. Then like you know, he explained his side and I explained my side, and it's like 
we was both wrong. Right. We just didn't see it like that because anger and like all this emo- emotional shit. But we brothers at the end of the day. You brothers p- clash. Patch it up. That will always be my brother. Okay. You feel me? But shout out to Ski. <laughs> shout out to Ski. Uh-huh. I was talking to Scheme about Ski the other day, uh, just being like, "Yo, like, what has he been doing? Like, like, what is his? Uh, you know, has he been partying? Quote unquote. Like, just I was just curious about where he was, where he's at. And he's like, "Yeah, he's sitting next to me playing fucking 2K right now." I'm like, "Oh." Every time I'm I see him, I'm talking about him like working. he's a mystery, you know. Yeah, I don't. He he be taking he be taking this shit serious. Cause it's just interesting because you never see young rappers like just take a year off and be away from the scene and be away from putting shit out. Like most rappers are so thirsty to just keep doing shit and get people's attention. I think he's like a really amazing rapper and artist, yeah, he and so I think he can take that much time, and his yeah. fan base will wait. But it's it's interesting to see him actually do it because most rappers just don't really do that until they get maybe more established. No, nah, you know? for sure. I don't know. I, he has, you know, Ski has a fucking big ass cult following. You yeah. Know? That was that was fucking Jaws' best friend. Mm. You feel me? They both was fine, like in their own way. Mm. And like he will always have them cult following fans, just like everybody else. At Mo, like Bass has his cult following. Mm. I have my own cult following. Flyboy got his own cult following. Like we, everyone in the group has, you know. I feel like everybody in the group could do that. Mm. But, like, at this point right now, because of COVID, we got to stay consistent. Right. Just expect new music from us, like, real soon. Like, real, real, real soon. Yeah. Are you, you've been recording a lot? I've you... been recording a lot. Really? A lot. I've been overworking myself. Okay. But in my mind, I really don't see, like, I don't believe in overworking. Because, like, at the end, it'll all, I'll be satisfied at, at the end. So. Right. But technically, I've been fucking overworking myself. <laughs> I'm fucking tired as fuck. Really? Hell yeah. That's what's up. Are you like planning on like your next thing, you, your next project you put out? Are you gonna like push it really hard and like um, make it a vi- uh, like you gonna treat it like a real album or? I mean, the next project I'm gonna release is mainly gonna be more towards like my hard hitting shit because my last my debut album was basically an experimental project album, uh, Moon. And it was like, you know, focusing on the alternative sound. Mm. And I wasn't really rapping and doing hard shit like how I used to. Right. But this upcoming project is about, about to hit, bro. Yeah, like, what do you think your fans want from you? Because like, your the biggest songs are the ones that are fucking Yeah, they want the old trunks back, man. The old trunks never left. I just took time to evolve, you feel me? Mm. Like, I still want to give y'all, like, the trunks that y'all looking for times 10. Right. You feel me? And, like, I, I've been experimenting with shit and, like, you know. Y'all gonna y'all gonna like it. Y'all gonna like it. Just know that. Y'all gonna like it. And the features, sure. features gonna be crazy. Who else it. we got? Who's on it? I'm not saying nothing. Oh shit. They okay. have to find out. Cause a lot since I've been in LA, man, like I've been blessed with a lot, like fortunately. And I thank the universe for it. You feel me? I'm not gonna say too much on here, but just know very big things are coming soon. Shouts out to Luxury Tax from Cactus Jack. You feel me? That's the homie he's been showing me none but love since I've been You're out signing here. the Cactus Jack? Huh? You're signing the Cactus Jack? Nah. I'm signed to Exclusive. myself. Exclusive. I'm signed to myself, but Uh-oh. Cactus Jack. You might want to sign to Travis Scott, too, realistically. <clears throat> Step in. I'm Travis. Duh. I'm not saying any more, but Travis, you know what's up. Like, yeah. Interesting. I'm not saying no more. You got no m- more! You got more face tattoos on the way, or are you capped out? I'm capped out. Really? Okay. Yeah, really. I'm capped out. No more space. No, I mean you do, but you just have to go like full face tattoo. Uh, nah, guy. exactly. Like like every nah, I feel like I'm good. Yeah. Yeah. Eventually, I thought about not eventually. Like I thought about like try like removing my face tattoos and getting new ones. Oh, okay. But like I'm not gonna do that. It's kind of crazy. Like getting face tattoos seems like a very Xanax part of your life thing. Majority of it was. Majority <laughs> of it was. Yeah, I swear. Majority of it was. Doing Xanax made getting mad face tattoos Bro, seem like a good idea, Bro, my first face right? tattoos was off bars. Yeah. And I got like four at the same time. The dude with Anne Frank on his face, I would say that's probably a oh, Xanax Arnold? decision. Yeah, I shut up, Arnold. Arnold the goat, though. I fuck my Arnold. One time I went to Bruno's house and I seen Arnold there. For real? Yeah. No, nah, nah, I ain't gonna lie. Everybody close. Right. Yeah, everybody that be in Florida, that be in the music shit, everybody close. Right. And we all fuck them and shit. Yeah, I wonder how many face tattoos weren't done on Xanax. I would say a large percentage. I would have to look at myself in the mirror. <laughs> Not you, but just like the oh. world in general. Oh, shit. <laughs> I, f- I feel like 
a good majority of people like got face tattoos without drugs. This like, is my question: Is now that all the hottest r- music coming out of Florida is basically about like shooting other people? Like, are you gonna become that kind of rapper and start like no. just smoking on packs and no? We is smoking on pack, but no. You know, like smoking on a pack of so and so. Oh nah, see, that's I'm gonna <laughs> leave that over there with that. That's, You're that's, not into that's, that? the, that's the drill shit. I mean, like I could I could do that with. with I feel like people it, actually want you to do that, and if you put out music like that, I'm it would go crazy. I'm not gonna let no one put me in a in a weird state and take me out my element mm. to speak upon them with my lyrics. You feel right. me? You gotta do some fuck shit to me. You feel me? And even then, I'm not even about to speak on you because. You don't deserve my energy. Mm. But I, I understand because drill rappers, they got to do that shit. You feel me? Because right. that's what they do. But I don't label myself as a a drill rapper. A rapper for sure. But more like a like a musician. You feel me? Like a real artist because I could dibble and dabble with every fucking thing. Mm. 